Hello, today I'll teach you how to print the nth element of a given linked list. So let's say we have a linked list and let's say we have n as 5. So it means we have to print the fifth node. So if this is 0th node, this is the first one, second, third, fourth, five, and six. So we have to print the value in fifth node. So our output will be 9. So how do we do this? We will use one more pointer and we will start from head. We will start from head and we will keep on traversing. And every time we traverse, we will keep a count variable, which will be initially zero. So when we are starting, it will be zero. So we are in the zeroth node. When we move to the next node, we will increment count to one. So again, we move to the next element we will increment the count. So we will keep on incrementing the count and also we will check if this count is equal to n. So we will have if count equal equal n. So we have to print. So now let's write the code. So first we will create a node. We will call it as temp and it will be pointing to head node. So I will say head. So now we have a node called temp which is pointing to head. So now we have placed temp over here. When temp comes here we will know that it is the end of the linked list because temp is pointing to null. So we will say when or while temp is not equal to null we will traverse. Okay. So before traversing, we need a count variable, right? So to keep track of the node which we are traveling. So initially count is zero, which means that we are at the zeroth node. So first thing inside the loop, what we will do is we will check if count is equal equal n. Let's say n was given as zero, which means we have to print the value present at zeroth node. So here itself, we will check and if it is equal, we are going to print it, right? We will print and break the loop. So I'll just write print instead of system.out.println. And here we'll do is we'll do temp. Why temp? Because temp is the node which is pointing to the linked list. So temp dot data. So we'll print and break. What if count is not equal to n? In that case, first thing, in that case, two things we have to do. One is we have to increment count by one and we have to make temp to move to the next location. For doing that, we will use temp equal to temp dot next. So you see what we are doing here. We are incrementing count by one. So initially count was 0, now it will become 1. Now in this line what we are doing, we are making temp to move from, in this line what we are doing, we are making temp to move from this node to this node. Then again the next iteration comes and we will check if count equal equal n, count was 1 and n is given as 5, so it's not a match. So we won't enter this if we come out, we increment count to 2, then we make temp to move to the next node. Then again we'll come, we'll check, this will keep on repeating and temp will keep on moving and count will keep on incrementing. So at last when count becomes 5 and temp also points to this node. And we will check count equal equal n. Yes, count is also 5 and n is also given as 5. In that case, it will come inside the if. It will print the data which is present at temp. And since temp was pointing over here, it will print 9. And it will break out of the loop. And our program is complete. So if you learned something from this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.